Buenos dias, mi amigos. Why the Spanish opening? Because, hey, I'm like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm trying to learn at least the basics of the language. And second of all, because today I want to sh show you something that comes from Spain. Probably before this video is published, uh, there was a video about Marmot, Armat and Marmot frames, frame, when I stated that the big manufacturers not always are making really good frames and from time to time the one guy doing something in the backyard uh, can build something better. Today I want to show you this something better. I'm not saying that this is actually better. Uh, or anything, but this is definitely something very interesting. The frame I want to show you today is called the Tempest. Now, I will be only showing the frame, not the whole quad, because the quad is really nothing special. This is my last year racing quad, um, because I'm not doing racing anymore. It doesn't make sense for the quad to just lay somewhere uh, on the shelf. So I transplanted the parts from my racer to the Tempest to see how this baby flies. Why I wonder why this baby flies? Because this frame is different than really majority of the frames that you can get and use and are available on the market. I'm not saying that this is 100% unique design because that would be, let's say, overstatement, Whoa. but for sure it's kind of unique. It's manufactured, no, what design was designed by a uh, by, uh, dude, I think in Madrid. Mm, I think uh, it's from Madrid, uh, definitely from Spain. Uh, cut somewhere else, but this is not important. And it was designed to equalize the moments of inertia on all axes. Because if you have the battery, uh, on top or on bottom and usually the frames are longer. You usually place the battery on a longer axis like this. This makes the huge difference in the moment of inertia between pitch axis and the roll axis. That means you need much more higher P and D gains on the pitch than on roll and you can really feel that the quad behaves differently because how the mass is distributed around. Usually the center of mass is not really very close to the center of the thrust provided by the plane in which the propellers are and you can feel those... Okay. Some say that ca they can feel differences. One day I will make a video when I explain what happens when the center of mass is not uh, uh, on the plane of the center of the thrust from the propellers, but not this time. What's different about this frame? Look, arms are on the top and electronics is in the bottom. This is four in one. I doubt you can really fit a separate ESCs with this design. The electronics are at the bottom, protected on the bottom by this plate, and the battery goes not only on the top of the frame, but also is installed, let's say, sideways comparing to the regular way. What it makes? This makes that, in this case, it's, I'm not really sure, sure that I can show you, but the looks like the center of the mass is really very, very close to the plane on which the propellers are working. Mm, this means that when you are rolling or flipping, there is not a, no external uh, moment uh, pulling or pushing the whole frame down. Also, the differences in the moments of inertia between axes are, 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 should be greatly reduced. This, um, let me remove the battery so we can take it closer. The camera, the camera, this fits mini and micros. Of course, for micros, you would have to have some kind of uh, uh, adapter uh, in this TPU mounted thingy that's um, connected and held by the standoffs that are also holding the middle plate. And uh, like I said, electronics uh, below the arms, the antenna between the motors. The antenna will be replaced because I just discovered that I'm out of the lollipops right now. So I had to just as a presentation use something else. There is uh, Kakuti F4 motors are in access from last year. So nothing really special. Um, and 
Now, um, this is interesting design, but oops, but I'm not definitely saying that this is the way to go in case of the frames, because the design and the way how everything is made around this frame creates at least a few problems. Problems are from the top the because electronics is on the bottom everything you know about building a quad probably will be let's say um, not so very useful when you will be if you will be building this because everything is upside down and it really took me like a longer moment to figure out how everything should go where things should be going and how to organize everything because this is different next because of battery the middle section is relatively small and even though battery is uh, across the, the frame there is no really a good place to put a gopro on it perhaps i could try to fit gopro maybe here but still it won't be really held in a in a very very uh, good way so probably this is rather the racing frame on the other hand because the battery on the top and when you go through the through the gates there is really a high probability that during the heat the, the heat will be taken by the battery and the battery will get damaged uh, during the the crash this is why for the racing after all the battery at the bottom is kind of more let's say um choice because the battery is usually protected it does not matter that much during the freestyle because during the freestyle you can land on almost every 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 possible um, site but then for freestyle it really lacks the uh, the place the good place to install the gopro maybe with something like a split it would make more sense but i kind of don't like split so so no split for me also because 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 i really have to learn to use say because not because ah because the strap the battery strap is uh, between those two plates at the top it's really hard to replace it uh, you cannot just take a strap take a new strap and strap it and now no, you have to take some kind of a pliers uh, put it through and so on and so on and so on and so on when the maiden the maiden of the thing uh, somewhere in the next uh, week hopefully i do have a lot of things to maiden because there is this there is uh, another five incher there is all there are also some changes to my marmot and so on and so on and so on so i'm not sure when but i will maiden after the maiden i will be able to tell you more if this layout of the frame actually makes sense or not but some say it does if now i've heard also i've heard from a uh, a friend of mine that 80% uh, of the Spanish racers are flying Tempest or at least Madrid located are flying Tempest so if you are interested in the Tempest frame then in the description of the video there is a link to the Facebook profile so you can contact the guy and maybe he will have a Tempest I, I think I made a mistake I really should have learned how the guy is named uh, Gregorio. I'm sorry, Gregorio. Um, I just forgot. Sorry, Gregorio. If you want to get the Tempest, then there is a link to the Gregorio's Facebook profile so you can contact him and maybe he will sell you the price. This I paid for this. I paid for this. I'm, f I'm fully allowed to say whatever I want uh, about this thing. The price was uh, with shipment slightly above uh, 50 euros. So comparing to some other crap is uh, not that much. And you actually get six arms. The arms are really nice and thick. So there is no danger that it's almost five millimeters. So there is no danger that the arms get, will break without... Uh, without any particular reasons also all the three plates are 2.2 millimeters so this is really like strong 
strong thick uh, frame and because the because because the camera is inside of the CPU cage it also should survive a lot of beating so um great stuff no, no not great very interesting stuff that really might change a lot in the way of how the quads behave in the air thanks to the fact that right now the roll has slightly more moment of, in of inertia while the pitch has slightly less moment of inertia we will know more after i will fly it and of course make another video and also i would like to take a moment and state that if you um viewer are building something that's interesting or at least you are thinking this is interesting this can be electronics uh, frames uh, some kind of mechanical part anyhow connected with the rc hobby and you would like to share your thing with more of the community please contact me please contact me and uh, maybe we will be able to somehow promote your design promote your thing i'm not promising that i will always be able or will, will be willing to buy and show what you are selling uh, what you're trying to sell what you are building but maybe at least i will be able to show some pictures if this will not be something i want to have uh, but you do not have enough uh, resources to send me one for Free. Like I said, I paid for this because I really like the design from the beginning and uh, this is this is really like something and I like crazy idea. So if you are doing something and you think you can use some kind of an extra publicity, contact me. I'm gladly I will gladly discuss the stuff with you. I, I would like to start promoting independent designs in the RC hobby. Not mass manufacturing, but really something that's independent, was made for a specific reason and is serving a very specific reason. Okay, um, whoa, this is almost 12 minutes right now, so we really should be ending now. Adios!